Okay, today we are going to talk about mini system hydroponic and why you should grow some this time of the year. Right now it is late February and it is very, very cold outside. So you cannot grow anything outdoors. So the best thing to do is take some of the fun things inside and mini hydroponic is one of the best and most fun thing to do. And uh, there are a few reasons why, and I will tell you one of the first reason why is because it takes up very, very little space. And as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five, and a few other uh, stuff right there in just a small space. And this is just grow lights um, from the MTN grow station uh, that is being shared. And then over here, I have uh, one more right there and this is semi hydroponic. It's a it's a hybrid and you can see I can grow a bunch of stuff in that little space. Another reason is that the plants can grow really, really fast in hydroponic because there's always nutrients available. And then the third is um, you can learn so much from growing um, in systems like this because, um, you know, it, it'll teach you a, a bunch of stuff. Um, the plants grow really well. It's very, very forgiving. And uh, sometimes it does have issues and then you just have to try to figure it out. And because you have so many uh, experiments, you can actually learn a lot from doing those. Uh, you can grow peppers, herbs, uh, even fruit trees. And this is an apple tree right here. And uh, uh, I'm amazed at how fast that one's growing because I have another plant outside and it is not growing as fast. It could be because of temperature as well. So um, that's one factor, but it does grow really, really well. And so anyway, uh, in systems like this, the peppers don't grow very big. Even if you don't prune them, they, they just seem to grow very, very little because uh, uh, the somehow the roots can sense that it's running out of space so it begins to fruit very fast you see here i have flowers right there and uh, if i leave it right like that it's going to fruit in about you know two weeks and so um uh, peppers are self-pollinating plants so you don't need to uh, help it pollinate it, it pollinates itself and so you know that's one of the best plants to grow also you can grow herb because like basil and stuff like that you can harvest very very quickly and um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So let me show you uh, the root systems for these plants and how I feed them and everything. Okay, so here is what the roots look like. And let me explain. Uh, this is sort of like a hybrid method because it's technically a cracky, non-circulating method. But this requires constant refilling uh, depending on the size of your plants. And so if the plant is smaller like this right here, um, I usually only refill like, you know, once, maybe a week and a half or maybe even two weeks. And once it gets to that size, it's pretty big, every three to four days. And so um, the drawback to this method is that um, you see this algae growth because, you know, the container is clear and I'm using a koozie to try to combat, um, you know, that issue, blocking lights from getting through. And that's how you get algae in there when lice can get through into the nutrients and that's how algae grows. Uh, but anyway, let me explain the root system. So when your plant is small, there is no root coming out of the rock wool all in down into the net cup. And when that when in that in that stage, you can just, you know, feed it water from the top. And then once the roots, you know, come out to the bottom and you can see it, there's a little strand that points outward down beyond the uh, the net cup and that's when you can feed the plants uh, hydroponic nutrients and you will notice the an immediate uh, uh, you know like it grows so fast and then when after that um, you see here roots are coming out of the side and stuff like that and those are your air roots and uh, so when you refill you always refill back to this line right here you see where the, the cup ends that way, the, the roots from the top right here that shoots out to the side, that's what the plants use to breathe. And so you can submerge anything to this point right here. And so you, you, you want to let the, the water drop to around right here and then fill it back up. Um, it's always a good idea to just pour the remaining water or nutrients in there out first. 
before you add back uh, you know the new nutrients that way it's always fresh uh, and uh, you know you bet it's always balanced and so that's really how I do it. it's very very simple uh, just let it go down all the way to here you don't even have to and then you know pour at, pour that the rest out and then put back the new fresh nutrients right to the cup the net cup line right there and that is all you have to do and so uh, again the drawback is that once the plants get big as i mentioned it drinks very fast so this plant right here uh, in the in the next week or so is going to drink like every three to four days or even less every two to three days maybe <laughs> and so if you you know if you go on vacation what i would recommend you do is uh, make it a full water bottle instead of the half size right here just cut the top out and put the net cup in uh, the, this is uh, really neat because you can just bring you know you just pull it up and move it anywhere you want to without you know any interruption so that's a is a very neat system so sometimes I grow plants in this method first before I transplant them into their permanent home in a larger container and uh, that works really well you know just pull it up and move it and uh, yeah so I highly recommend you do this uh, make sure you check out my other videos on high, the small hydro setup for growing peppers I do cross breeding and uh, I, I mean I grow the, the, the plants its entire life in, the, in this method so it's a lot of fun and you can learn a lot it's, it also it will increase your, um, uh, your chances of getting a successful cross this way and also, uh, because you can control the, the environment, the plant is always nice and warm and healthy and it will grow really, really well. And so, uh, yeah, give it a try, especially in wintertime when you have nothing to do uh, in the garden outside. Uh, this is one of the best ways to, uh, you know, sort of like have some fun while you wait for spring to come. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.